a quick response video. Uh, this is for Tony Soundwave SG1 who put up a TF Nation What's Your Shopping List video. Um, he's asked for responses. I thought, yeah, I'd chuck my hat into the ring, so to speak. Um, before I get to my list, I just want to give a, a couple of shout outs. Uh, TF Nolsey, uh, Skullgrin, 140, Tony Soundwave Sound SG1 himself. And someone I never thought I'd actually have a, a mention from, uh, Graham the Collector 75. So thank you, sir, for watching my last TF Nation video and actually give me a shout out in yours. So I thought I'd return the favour. Now, <laughs> Tony said he's, he's been a nosy bastard. Yes, we know it's Tony. You want to know what we're after for TF in this year? I haven't got a massive list. There's a few things, yeah. as you said, if, if we're there, I'm going to get. Uh, Masterpiece Megatron, the new version, is right at the very top. That seems everywhere that I've out of stock or on pre ordering, especially Kapow come on pre order again. So, he's, if he's there, I'll get him on the Saturday. If not, I think in the world, I can always get him off Kapow another time. Um, Masterpiece Ratchet, I've got. A fair, I'll actually show you on, on camera. I've got a fair share of masterpieces already. So I'm zooming in a bit. And I'm quite happy with my collection. But as much as I, I, mean, I do, I love the Iron Hide Mold, so. Now that I see you flash. Um, getting Ratchet would be awesome, so he's, he's on the list. Masterpiece Shockwave. <laughs> I'm getting Masterpiece Shockwave. I'm not a TF Nation. I'm not going to explain on camera how that's coming about, but let's put it this way I'm getting a Masterpiece Shockwave fairly soon, so that's, that's what I'm going to say for now. Uh, what else on my list? Generation Noor. Mm, he looks quite cool. I might get him. Although, according to, uh, according to Emily, aka the Ford Circuit, I'm going to get one. Don't buy one, buy three. So if I see three M, then if I've got enough money, I'm blaming you. So I'll make sure if I get them and you're in, if we're in the dealer for at the same time, you can bear witness to this. So um, what else am I after? Generations Boss Man, it looks quite nice. I've got Rat Trap, I've got Rhinox. They're both very awesome. So I'm, I might get a Boss Man later. What else? I think that's about it. A few more. A few Beast Wars figures, but ones that weren't in the cartoon series. Like, for example, uh, let's have a think. Where is he? I've got K9 over there, which I did a review of two, three years ago. Um, oh, that's heavy. Oh, yeah. Another Fusor. I do like my Fusors. Uh, Bantor. Half baboon, half tiger. He he did get a, a name check in Transformers Prime. Although at the time Ratchet was under the influence of was it synthetic energy or something? I can't remember what a while ago so I watched the episode so unless we was Maisie tripping out, there is a version of Bantor somewhere in the Transformers Prime universe. Um a few of the basic figures. I've got most of the main cast. I've I've now got the Masterpiece versions of Cheetor and Optimus Prime, so I've, I've got, only got the original versions anyway. That is about it. It's, it's like I said, it's, as Tony was saying, it's mostly seeing when you're in there and you think, what takes you from You might look at the thing and go, oh, I like that, I like the look of it, I've seen it before, had not considered buying it, or at the time, or you've never seen it before, it's, it can happen, you think, oh, yep, right, get up, got it. So, that's it, not a massive list. I mean, I've, I'm getting, I'm doing, I think this year what I did a lot of last year. Just getting artwork and I've got a commission from my friend Sprite and uh, John Paul Bove, who's a guest this year. I've commissioned him to colour up for me. I'll pick it up a, I think it's inked, commission from Kaizama. I want to get from their artwork. It's, oh, it's amazing. I'm going to look at her tail, what she's got. Any of her art books or sort of collected works and stuff she's done, I'll pick me up one of them. 
I've got a commission to pick up my bro Sammy, aka Skullgrim140. Oh, I've got two commissions to buy. Well, one of she's commissioned, I've commissioned from her, and one is one of her daily sketches she's uploading. I'm, I've asked her to buy her for as well because it's so awesome. It's one of the Rocket Group. And it'll be the first time I've had a piece of Guardians of the Galaxy artwork of any kind, commission, official, what have you. Um, I have a good looking forward to see if anyone's got some good stuff. I know Nate Hammond, um, from all the stuff he's been showing on Facebook, so he's, he's got a table in the fortress here, so I'll, I'll probably pick something up from his table. He's, I'm selling some stuff to him, and he's a lot of little thing for him, so. That's about it. It's not a great deal I want. Jimmy, some of the G1 stuff I'm actually selling off, and that's another story entirely. Was I don't need anyone more anymore. Um, Masterpiece wise, do you need more masterpieces? Possibly Inferno. Yeah, a more crap. I've, I've been, I was saying this, I was speaking to a couple of friends last night. They're nice, I like them, they look cool. I've got no real attachment to the characters. I love them too well, but not enough to want a masterpiece. I'll get them at some point, but they're not hungry, let's put it aside. Can you make this wrong? MP Ratchet, because it's the same mold as Iron Hide, the Iron Hide is fantastic. Um, I've got G2 side swipe, got G1 side swipe, I've got smoke screen, I've got Prowl, do I get blue streak? Mm, I might do. It's one of those, I'll see him I'll, I, if I want to, I'll get him. If I don't, I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. So, I think that's it. Final Wars figures, no. Tronch Returns, I've got Blur, I've got Highbrow, I've got Chrome Dome. Optimus Prime with Triple Chain, but it's cool. I think that's it. I'll have a look. I'll have a look at the um, title return. I might get some of the little mean ones, like a little head, and they go on a little transform vehicle type thing. That looks quite cool. So it's, it's quite a few of them. So it's, it's literally just whatever grabs my eye. I think, yeah, that's cool. Why not? I'll definitely. And this ties into what I, I actually mentioned to the guys. I'm going to do a little bit of self promotion. Well, Self a bit of promotion for Toy Food. I've, I've mentioned them in AA videos, previous TF Nation videos. But I'll, I'm going to post links to Facebook page, I think a Twitter account, and the main charity they actually raise money for, which is Mary's Meals. And their table has usually got loads of fun publication stuff, botcon stuff, collectors club stuff. Rare G1s, G2 stuff, G1, even normal G1, uh, the occasional masterpiece, Chug stuff, animated, uh, Beast Wars, Transformers Prime, Babe, any, any, any Transformer line you can think of, there's a high chance they've either bought it and they make a couple of their own cost, and then any money they make is again part of the Mary's Meals, or they have done other. I've seen people, I know people have donated stuff to the store and I've since bought it. The you know, prizes are always reasonable, I mean, some of the rare stuff you expect to pay a lot of money. But it's for charity, so if you've got any sense, you don't, look, you wouldn't haggle on the price because it's all for a good cause. When you guys all, they do it for goodness of your heart, completely free of charity, they're doing it, raising money for a very, very good cause. I'm not going to explain what Mary's Meals is about, that's a link to the main website, I'm going to explain a heck of a lot better than I can, but I did promise. I'd give them a mention because they, they do fantastic work. Um, if been all the all those I've been to, it was at last year's TF Nation. They go to other shows and conventions and collectors fairs, anything, anywhere I can go to sell great stuff, a great price, a fantastic call. So that's all from me for now, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I should have another video out. Reasonably soon, depending on what I can decide what I'm going to do. I'll finish my, my other review series. So, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all in. Hang on, my camera, uh, camera, phone. Right, I think, hang on, just, just, just bear with me. Yeah, hang on. I should have this ready. Six weeks. Six weeks. Six weeks to TF Nation. It's 43 days, something like that. Six. So, ever so possible, ever so possible, I might be 
Tinti. Tinti, the big soft. He says we must have good on his face. In fact, he's got a custom t-shirt made up for the for said convention. And at least now three other geeky t-shirts to wear at said convention. So, yes, I'm excited about doing this. Very, very excited. Really, really look forward to seeing all most of your friends you turn up on the Thursday, the ones you turn up on the Friday, the ones you can just make it on a Saturday or a Sunday, meeting the guests, seeing all my friends who are part of the TF Nation crew, getting you work so hard. Basically, basically as soon as the last convention is finished, we're more or less prepping up, ready for this year's and or next year and year beyond. They, they've got plans always on the go. They've, they've got their own lives to lead. All work hard or in university or got things going on. Plus this, I know we, I know I don't personally take it for granted. I know a lot of my friends won't take it for granted, but you think all the hours unpaid hours, because they're just a non-for-profit non organisation, they, they don't do it to make a profit, they're doing it to give people like you and me the chance to meet folks that we might not meet unless we went to an American convention or a big, big thing like the Comic Con Cons and what have you abroad and here in the UK. They give us a chance to all meet in one place in the sort of centralised like part of part of the UK, we can just hang out. We can have a laugh. We can just relax and spend a good a day, a couple of days, three days. How long you here? Some people come here. Well, when's he going on Monday? I'm, I'm doing the Thursday to a Monday, purely so I can just spend as much time as soon as possible. So I'm trying to be possible. Mm -hmm. So you spend as much time as possible. With good friends and just enjoy ourselves. We be our be ourselves. We don't have to. I know some of I personally, when I'm at work, there's no one at work gets me in regards to this. The fandoms or Transformers, Marvel, DC, uh, Star Trek, Doctor Who, stuff like that. They don't get it. Well, one person sort of does, but that's, that's a long story. But as soon as I'm at the Hilton. Um, Metropole, New Year DC. All my friends there, other than we've got Transformers in common, we've got, we all, so most of us like Doctor Who or uh, Star Trek, Marvel, DC, anything. We've, we've all got at least minimum two, three things in common. So it's been, well, past, or well, some reason now, the last year's Tier of Nation. It's given me a chance to just be myself. Nobody judges me. Nobody makes a like we, we take the mid out. Which we, we make fun of each other. That's, that's all part of it. It's done in fun. It's all done in a, in a nice way. So I will see you all soon, guys.